Hey guys, happy Tuesday. In this video, I just want to take a quick updated look at the Bitcoin chart, especially after the long weekend, after the 4th of July. We had a bit of a pump over 20K. We're slightly below 20K again. So what does this mean for the week going forward? We're going to dive into that in the charts. Now, before we get started, I just want to make a quick announcement that starting actually yesterday already, I have a bear market special offer to join Intelligent Cryptocurrency VIP. Basically what this means is that because we are in the bear market, it is actually the best time to get involved with crypto, to learn about it and to position yourself for the future bull market. And most people only get involved at the tops of bull markets. They buy in towards the very top, the market drops and they go through that painful learning experience. Whereas now, even though the sentiment is completely down, the prices are down, and it's counterintuitive to actually want to get involved in crypto, this is the best time. And because of that reason, I've put together this bear market special offer where I'm giving literally the best deal to join Intelligent Cryptocurrency VIP that is ever still going to be at this point, where instead of an annual subscription of $997 per year, you can join right now if you take advantage of this special offer and get three years worth of access for just $997, meaning that that should be enough to take us not only past this current bear market stage, but well into hopefully a future bull market within the next three years. It is literally, like I said, the best deal that I'm ever going to offer now on Intelligent Cryptocurrency. After the bear market promo, this will end when the timer on the page hits zero. It's the first link in the description down below. So on July 15th, the bear market promo ends and after that I will never offer this kind of deal again and you will have to pay more to be able to join. As always, it comes with a full 60 day money back guarantee so there's no risk. Come and sign up, go through all the courses, the training. I've added a completely new TA, technical analysis and trading course there that's much more detailed to help also with all sorts of trading whether it's spot or leverage, analyzing positions, sharing my own strategy in there. All of that is included and you can get access risk free 60 days. If you're not happy, you know, go through everything, join the community, you can get a full refund. But I think you will find it very, very valuable for the price that it costs to get in. So to get all the details and to become a member for the bear market special offer, click the first link in the description down below. With that out the way, let's dive into the charts and get into today's content. So as you can see, Bitcoin is currently trading at just under $20,000. But we actually had a nice little scam pump once again on the low liquidity holiday weekends, which we've been seeing over the last weeks as it happened over and over again on Sunday and on the long weekends on the Monday when it is a public holiday, when the stock markets are closed, then we tend to see these, these big pumps in the market where the, where the price of Bitcoin moves up 500 or a thousand or 1500 dollars. And what that does is in this low liquidity, when everyone's on holiday, when institutions are not available because it's weekend, right? They don't trade on weekends. Um, we see these pumps to liquidate these leveraged shorts over there. And we've seen the same thing again. But the question is, is this time different? Was this a pump really the start of a more continued relief rally? Or is it just going to roll over and are we going to see more downside again? And just to zoom in over here, this four hourly chart, we actually had this little pump here. It went to about 20,400 once again. And now, you know, we're back under 20K again. So is anything different? Has anything changed? And basically, the market still does not look great. Everything is still pointing towards us being in a bearish market. So until we get confirmation of really more of a breakout, we have to stay cautious and have to assume that any of these scam pumps are basically that bear market rallies or scam pumps that could end up rolling over. And we still have a potential target of lower because as I've shared in the update on the first of the month, if we're looking at, for example, the weekly chart, okay, we had the weekly close yesterday, obviously, again, it closed below the 200 week moving average, which is this red line over here, the 200 week moving average, as long as we're below that, you know, there's downside potential and we could still be targeting this area over here somewhere between 10 and, and $15,000. That is still a possibility. Now, could it reverse back here? And could we start an extended relief rally? Yes, of course, that's absolutely possible at any point. But until we really get a weekly close back above this 200 week moving average, be very, very careful about turning bullish too early on every little pump and every little rally, especially when it happens on a low liquidity day, like a Sunday or a holiday weekend, a Sunday and a Monday holiday. When these things happen, you have to be careful to trust them. So let's see how this week is going to play out. Do we get further sell off? Because keep in mind, fundamentally, things are still not great. Okay, the Fed 
is still planning on raising interest rates, stock markets are still under pressure, housing markets under pressure, inflation is high, and we still don't know who is really insolvent after the fallout from the Terra Luna collapse, the, the liquidation of the Three Arrows Capital Hedge Fund, all the lending platforms that had exposure to 3AC, like Voyager and Celsius and BlockFi, we don't know what is still happening in that space and how many assets are still gonna be sold off due to liquidation issues and having to pay debt and creditors and insolvency, who knows what's going on. So there is still very much a possibility for more downside pressure, but we are still stuck in this range between this wick low of the 17,800 and at the top of this range, the 200 week moving average, which is about 22K. So let's see what happens, how that plays out and if we get a breakout either way, but be careful of getting too bullish before we get a weekly close back above the 200 week moving average. Now, personally, I do think we are at the beginning of July. I do think there's possibility that over the next few weeks, we do get a bit of a, a higher relief rally, a bit more of a pump, where we potentially might go somewhere between 23 and $27,000 on the upside over the next few weeks. That is a possibility. If, if things are really bad, obviously we're not gonna get that. But if we do get that, we wanna be start getting careful um, especially as it gets closer to 26 or 27,000 because it could end up being another fake rally that rolls over and sees even nearer lows. I do suspect September is going to be a bad month. Usually for Bitcoin based on the historic returns, September is a really bad month where we tend to get that shakeout. Obviously also in the stock markets and us being in a midterm election year, September tends to be the low on average. So we might still see some serious volatility in September, which means it would make sense if we get a bit of a re relief rally leading up to then. People get too bullish once again, 25, 26, 27,000, start to FOMO in and the market drops one more final time before if that happens, hopefully then in Q4, we get an extended rally, which matches up with the data on the US midterm elections where the stock market tends to rally in Q4 with the elections being in November, obviously can't have a crashing market if that plays out. So um, there's good odds that if this scenario plays out, that's kind of what I'm expecting. Bit of a relief rally now over the coming weeks, shake out in September, and then a nice longer extended relief rally in Q4, potentially maybe even the beginning of a new bullish trend if we see a reversal in Fed monetary policy where they stop hiking rates and they start talking about cutting earlier than expected. And if they start adding more liquidity into the system, more stimulus, then we could start to see the, the start of a new risk on move in the stock markets. And as a result in crypto, potentially in Q4 and 2023 going forward. But obviously we have to see how that all plays out over the next few weeks, over the next few months, and just you know let the charts and the market guide us as things start to develop. For now, that's basically my longer term uh, potential scenario that I'm looking out for. And like I said, until we get back above the 200 week moving average, so above 22,600 with a weekly close, there's no reason to get overly bullish at this point in time. If you like these updates, please do smash that like button, click it down below, it takes two seconds, it helps the video get out to more people. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, it's completely free, and that way you get notified of future updates. And if you do wanna take advantage of the bear market special offer to be able to join Intelligent Cryptocurrency and get three years worth of access for only $997, click the first link in the description down below. That offer expires on July 15th and I will never repeat it again. So do take advantage of it. It's completely risk-free, 60 day money back guarantee. First link in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.